Mark, we're not disclosing our exact location for the privacy and security of that Metro officer and his family. I spoke to him this morning. He did not want to go on camera, but he told me it happened very early today. Now, according to the police report, Metro officers were called to this neighborhood just before 2.30. The officers told the investigators that someone fired shots at his house and his squad car. Crime Lab found 17 spent shell casings outside of the home and three bullet holes in the squad car. Investigators talked to witnesses. They gave police a description. One neighbor had home surveillance video that investigators looked at. Police officers say they later spotted a vehicle fitting that description, pulled it over. Investigators say the man in the car fit the description they had gotten from witnesses and neighbors. Now, according to the police report, the man in that vehicle was taken into custody, March Ratney. The police report says he was wearing a T-shirt that had profanity on the front, referencing police and the words Black Lives Matters on the back of the shirt. We have no idea if he is any part of that movement. People who live around here say they heard about this mo this morning by reading it on their neighborhood Facebook page. It's shocking. I mean, it's no way to resolve the issues that are going on today. You can be pro Black Lives Matter as well as being pro police. You don't have to choose. Police say Ratney is in custody on a 72-hour hold but has not been arrested. He told police he was in this area because he lives nearby. Now, also, according to that police report, as he was being questioned, it says that Ratney made a profane statement toward the detectives, exposed himself, and then urinated in front of officers in the police investigation room. Reporting live from the east side, Julie Persley, RTV6. And March Ratney is part of a bigger problem local police departments are demanding gets attention. Call 6 investigates. Rafael Sanchez now with more details on that. Rafael. Mark, good afternoon. March Ratney was out on parole, and police say he told them that he was a two time loser. It also appears that Ratney targeted the officer who arrested him back in 2008. Here's a background on Ratney. He had been serving time for battery and possession of a handgun without a license and unlawful firearm possession also by a serious felon. Ratney has denied shooting the police officer's home or vehicle. We should point out that this type of incident is the one that strikes concerns among police leaders. And right now we continue to hear your feedback on our Facebook live conversation about the state of policing in Indiana. Lack of support for police is a concern from the local all the way down to the federal level. It is a time for, for raised uh, concern uh, in, and certainly across uh, the country. Uh, there's been a, a loss of trust uh, between uh, 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 law enforcement and, and young uh, African American men and women uh, and other minorities. And uh, it's a time where I think there's a lot of soul searching that has to go on uh, by law enforcement as well as the community that we serve. And Mark, you just heard there from Jay Abbott. He's a special agent in charge for the Indianapolis office here, of course, in the Circle City. But also the police chief uh, has a has Mr. Riggs has expressed concern about the number of people released from prison early, which he says is also driving the number of crimes in city neighborhoods. Chief Riggs mentions concerns. What's an example of one of his concerns? One of those concerns, the latest police report, Mark, shows that of the 25 people recently arrested for murder, before they were arrested for that murder, they had committed 124 felony arrests in the city of Indianapolis. That is a huge number. That is a big concern that Troy Riggs and all these other law enforcement officials want in some way to sort of correct because it's causing a problem. Right, and back out in the streets. Yeah. All right, Rafael Sanchez, thank you for that. We do have more breaking news here for you.